All right, um, we're going to try to shoot this video, hopefully get some uh, volume on it this time. So um, we are working, going to demonstrate how to estimate the volume of a tree with a shape called a frustrum of a cone, since a tree does kind of taper as it gets taller. Um, one thing that we need to know for this is for the purpose of usable lumber, we are going to say that the R2, the radius at the top of this, is going to be four inches but of course um, what we're trying to calculate the volume in is going to be in cubic feet so we're going to need to convert um, all of our units and so the four inches we're going to divide by 12 to change it into feet and that's going to be a third of a foot we'll probably use uh, 0 0.333 in our calculation along the way okay so and our first one here, we have uh, information that we have calculated uh, previously here. Um, we know we've got a tree that is 104 feet tall. So this is plot C that uh, came out of this section up here. And there were determined to be two marketable trees in there. One of them had a height of 104 feet and a radius of the, at the base of 12 and a half inches. Okay. So our formula that uh, they're giving us here is that if you want to cal the, calculate the volume of the frustrum of a cone, that is going to be pi times the height divided by 3 times the r1 here, the radius at the bottom squared, plus R1 times R2 plus R2 squared. And we know R2, we're given R1, we're given H, so this is just a matter of plugging these things into the formula. So our first one is going to be pi, which we'll use about 3.14 for that, divided by 3 times the height of this first tree, which is 104 feet. Now, our radius at the base here we're going to have to change that into feet, so we'll take the 12.5 and divide by 12 inches in a foot, which gives us about um, 1.042 feet okay. uh, for the R1. So we're going to take that uh, 1.042 and square it. And then we will add on the 1.042 times uh, the R2, which is the 0 0.333 plus the 0 0.333 squared. Uh, so if we do those calculations along the way, this number out in front here, if I do 3 times our 3.14, times uh, 104 and divide that by 3. This number that I get out front here is a uh, 108.85. And if I add these all up in the middle, 1.042 squared plus 1.042 times point zero or 0 0.333 plus 0.333 squared, I get on the inside here a 1.544, approximately. Um, and so when, do I really get that? 1.042, I'm just double checking what I put in there. Make sure. Yep. Okay. So uh, when I multiply those together, the uh, 1.085 times the 1.544, I get approximately 1.675. And that is going to be my answer. Oh, not one point. I, I don't get that number at all. 
we get uh, 108.85 times 1.544. I get about 168.1 cubic feet. Okay. Try another one. So first step along the way, convert this to 10 over 12. So that in feet is approximately uh, 0.833 feet. Okay. Here's my height already in feet. So the formula again was uh, pi times the height, which is 99, divided by 3, times the uh, radius at the base, 0.833 squared, plus the radius at the base, the 0.833, times the radius at the top, which is the 0 0.333, plus the 0 0.333 squared. That's my calculation. I'll show this out a, a little bit more here. So I will use the 3.14 for pi again. If you're using a graph and calculator, it probably has a pi button and you can use that. The answer will be slightly different, not significantly different. So this works out to be about 103.62. And then the 0.833 squared works out to be about uh, 0 0.694. And we will add on to that the 0.833 times 0.333 which is about uh, 0 0.277. And finally, the 0.333 squared, which is about 0 0.111. Okay. So I've got the 103.62. When I add all those pieces together, 0 0.694 plus 0 0.277 plus 0.111, I get on the inside there about a 1.082 times my 103.62, which is about 112.11 cubic feet in that tree. So, a little bit uh, shorter tree to begin with and smaller in radius and quite a bit less lumber in that one. But that's the way that you do those calculations. That's what you're going to need. And uh, hopefully that helps things out.